boys and girls. <laughs> Welcome to my art room. I am Miss Kim and today I want to do a little project based off of the book that I read, How to Catch a Snowman. <laughs> I thought we would make a magical snowman today. <laughs> okay, well ours will not come to life, but he will pop off your page. All right, doesn't that look like fun? Well, I want you to join me at my table. I'll be right back. Yay. Okay, here we go. Boys and girls, this is the snowman. <laughs> See how he just pops off the page? What fun. Well, let's first go over our supply list that we will need. And again, it will be posted over on the left side. So, the, one of the first things you'll need is a small piece of black construction paper, a quarter piece of a blue construction paper, any shade of your choice, and we will need a full sheet or a half a sheet of white paper. We'll cut this and end up using only a half a piece. Okay, we'll need a pencil, an orange color pencil, a pair of scissors, black crayon, white chalk, liquid glue, a small paper plate, and a wooden stick. Okay, go gather your things and let's get started. The first thing we want to start with is the white piece of paper. So let's get all of the other supplies out of our way. And we will come back to these. So the first thing we want to do is fold our white piece of paper in a hamburger shape. <laughs> yes, remember, this is a hot dog shape because it's long like a hot dog. This is a hamburger shape. So let's give a hamburger shape to our paper. Get it even where it lines up. Take your finger, run it across, crease it. Running your finger up and down. Then what we want to do, open it back up, cut along that line. Cut away from you. Then you can see where you're cutting. Yay! We only need one, so let's put the other piece off to the side. Then what we want to do is fold it again. Are you ready? So not hot dog, but hamburger. So let's make a hamburger fold. Now how many rings will we need? Snowmen are made with how many balls of snow? That's right, three pieces. So we want to cut three rings in this piece and you want to cut again like we've done before on the f away from the fold leave your paper folded when we cut our rings okay i like to use a pencil to mark so let's see if we can do that we want to mark a place here and we want to cut all the way across to there And again, we want to mark here, cut all the way across, okay? And one more, all the way across. Okay, now let's see how we're going to do this, okay? Turn your paper this way, and we're going to connect the dots. The first one. 
And it doesn't matter if it's not an even cut or if one end is larger because our snowballs, when we make a snowman, they're not even, are they? No. So we just need to cut three strips. See, Miss Kim got off of that one. It didn't line up right, but that's okay. Take your pencil and erase your dots. Okay, another way to do that. If you can't get them erased the way you want, I'll show you. Now we want to open them. Let's open them up. Okay, now we want to roll the paper to make a chain. You ready? So you take one piece flip it under, roll it all the way. And that's what we're going to make. So you can roll it in like this. And look, we've made one. So let's get our glue ready so we can glue them together. Are you ready? Squirt some glue on your paper plate. We won't need a whole bunch. So that ought to do it, Miss Kim. Let's stop right there. Close your glue back up. There we go. Then what we want to do while this is drying, then we will cut our re rectangle for his hat. So we are going to put a little bit of glue on the end, just like that, okay? So you're gonna cover it by rolling. Now we want to roll this piece towards you and stick it down. And you, this is where you can work with your circle or your ring to get the size you want, okay? You can either have a big one or a little one. And if each size is different when you roll that, I'll show you what we'll do, okay? So go ahead and make all three rings now. All right, good job. Very good. <laughs> now some of this you will have like an odd shaped, <laughs> An odd shaped one, that's okay. So, the bigger piece will go at the bottom. So when we set them up, let's go ahead and get our black one ready to cut our rectangle. Let's put our rings over here. Yay. Now we will use this to make a rectangle shape. You can use your, I'm going to use my black crayon so that you can see where I make the dots. Now, a rectangle is a long shape, right? Versus a square, that's about like this, right? Well, we want to make a rectangle shape. So I am going to put a dot here and another dot here, we're going to come all the way down and over, okay? Then we're going to connect the dots with our crayon. Here we go. It's like a little dot to dot, isn't it? Yay! So Miss Kim made a rectangle about that shape. So let's get our scissors and cut that out. I'm going to start over here, cutting away from me. Then turn my paper so I can cut away from me. You can cut a little past your dot, so you can turn your paper and cut down the line. Cutting away from you. Yay! And there's my rectangle. Awesome, boys and girls. Good job. 
Okay, we're going to put that off to the side. Now, Miss Kim did not add a little piece here, but we can do that. So let me show you how we can do it. So now we are just going to cut off that little piece right there. <laughs> and look what we have. We made the bottom part of his hat. See, it went just a little bit longer and voila. So you can make a long rectangle shape so we can glue it to the bottom. Okay, or you can just leave it like that. Okay, here we go. Let's put the black out of our way. We are done with that one. Let's bring this back over. Now we want to glue down our rings in the shape of a snowman, okay? Now this one, I glued it in this way. You can glue it however you want, but I think the rings that we made on this one will go better this way, okay? So that's why Miss Kim has it turned like this. All right. Let's build our snowman. <laughs> we need some more glue. There we go. And let's think about where you want it. So the first ball or ring goes at the bottom. And I'm going to pick the larger one because that's our base. So let's put him at the base or the bottom. Here we go. Yay. There he is. Now we need the second one. We want to put him right here where he's touching the other one. Good job, right? He's touching. Now we want to add the one on top. I'm going to turn him a little bit because the top one is the one that we put the face on, isn't it? Yeah. So I want to put him about right there so we can put his face on. That should be good. That should be a good one for his face. Okay, here we go. Yay! Now we want to get, let's make sure that's glued down really good. Now we want to put this part, if you chose to make it, on the bottom part of our hat. So we're going to put a little bit of glue at the bottom, just like that. Then take your skinny piece and put it right there. And that's okay if you get glue over, because why? It will dry. We can get it off. Good job. Now we want to add him right here. That way we'll know where to put his eyes and his face. We put a little bit of glue on the back part. And then we can put our finger inside and press to stick it down. <laughs> Look at that snowman. He's coming together, isn't he? Yay. Now, we want to get our black crayon. And let's see where we would add the face. Snowman has two eyes made out of coal, doesn't he? So, coal. Let's make a black little circle right here. <laughs> and another one right here, right? Then what is his nose made out of? That's right, a carrot. And what shape could we use for the carrot nose? Yes, a triangle shape. So let's make 
a triangle shape that goes this way. <laughs> Good job. And we can put lines in it to make it look like a carrot and then color him in. Now, Miss Kim is keeping her finger inside our ring so we don't smash it down until it dries. Then <laughs> we need to put on his face, don't we? So this, we might have to smash it down and then we can raise it back up. So let's put on little circles for his mouth. Now, sometimes we use rocks or we use raisins or berries or seeds to make the mouth. That's why we make them in little circles or dots. Good job. His face is done. He's coming together, isn't he? Then Miss Kim has made what? Buttons. So let's put three or four buttons, whatever you want to do. One, two, on the middle one. Then let's come down to the bottom and add one button at the top. Whoa, look at that. Here's our snowman. <laughs> now, boys and girls, you're going to say, where is his arms, Miss Kim? Well, we can make some arms by drawing on the back part of the paper. That way it gives it an illusion right that you have an arm yeah let's do it here we go we usually use sticks don't we for the arm there's one come over here to this side always the middle that's where his arms are in the middle so let's come across over here and draw his arm up like that now look See, the arms look like they are attached. Yay! <laughs> now we want to make snow. So let's start drawing our snow. So he sits in the snow, doesn't he? So we can make loop-de-loops to make it look like fluffy snow. Good job. Keep going, we're almost finished. Yay! Then you can make little circles around, or you can make and draw little things like that. Kind of looks like a little star, a snowflake. Okay? Any shape you choose to do is good. I'm going to turn mine around to get some more snowflakes over here. Yay! Okay, boys and girls, look at that! We created a pop-up snowman. <laughs> Wasn't that fun? Okay, boys and girls, meet me back over at the other table. Oh, boys and girls, was it that fun? <laughs> I enjoy art. Art is supposed to be fun and creative. And look what we made, a popped out snowman. <laughs> we got to work on some of our skills today, how to fold, how to cut, how to draw, and how to glue. And we even learned how to roll our paper, didn't we? Well, thank you so much for joining me today, boys and girls. And remember, art is using your imagination to create something as unique as you. Bye. Bye.